Lesson 4.3a, Graphing Proportional Relationships. Back in sixth grade math in chapter 12, we learned about a coordinate plane. So this is a coordinate plane. It's got a lot of notes on it, though. It has four quadrants that are labeled with Roman numerals, quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, and quadrant 4. And the number order of the quadrants make a C shape, and I think of it as C for coordinate plane. We go 1, 2, 3, 4. That way you know which quadrant it is. And it's made of two number lines intersecting at 0. So we have a horizontal number line, that's the X, and we have a vertical one, that's the Y. And I always say, you can remember that the vertical one is the Y, because it goes Y to the sky. As we graph proportional relationships in this lesson, we will only use the first quadrant, quadrant 1. So it's going to look like this. This is quadrant 1. We have our vertical Y and our horizontal X. We can see 0, 0 is the origin. It's where 0 for X and 0 for Y intersect. So 0 for X meets 0 for Y at the origin, 0, 0. And an ordered pair is a set of numbers that describe a point on the coordinate grid. And we have X, then Y. If you want to remember which is first and which is second, they're in alphabetical order, like X, Y, Z. We can use a graph to explore proportional relationships. The equation y is equal to 20x represents the relationship between the number of dollars earned y and the number of lawns mowed x by Sam. We can explain why the relationship is proportional. The equation is in the form of y is equal to kx, where k is equal to 20. We can make a table of values. We have the number of lawns and the dollars earned. And we can write the data in the table as ordered pairs as x and y. For one lawn, he has $20. For two lawns, he has 40 For three lawns, he has $60. And for four lawns, he has $80. Now we can plot the ordered pairs on a grid. We're going to plot these ordered pairs on this grid. We have 1 for x and 20 for y. They meet right here, so we make a point. We have 2 for x and 40 for y, so we put a point here. We have 3 for x and 60 for y, so we put a point here. And we have 4 for x and 80 for y, we put a point here. If Sam mows 0 lawns, he earns $0. If Sam mows one lawn, he earns $20. This ordered pair, 1, 20 for the x and y, shows constant of proportionality, or the unit rate, of $20 earned over one lawn mowed. If we connect the points, we'd see a straight line from 0, 0, the origin. The constant of proportionality is 20 over 1, which is equal to 20. Would Sam earn $150 for mowing 8 lawns? Well, we divide. $150 divided by 8. And we get $18.75. So no, 150 divided by 8 is not proportional to 20 divided by 1. We can even try cross multiplying. We put our 20 over 1 and our 150 over 8. When we cross multiply this numerator to that denominator, 20 times 8 is 160, and 1 times 150 is 150. So no, the numerator and denominator are not the same. We learned that in video 4.2b. If you missed it, it's linked in this description. If it were proportional, they would have the same numerator and denominator, which would simplify to 1. So no, this is not proportional. He would not make $150 for mowing 8 lawns. He would make $160, wouldn't he? 
So here we have the points graphed on a coordinate plane. Here we have our table. If we continued the table of values and added more data to the right side here, what would be the next two ordered pairs? We can look at our graph. We can see it's making a straight line. The next point would be right here, and the one after that would be right here. That means we would have 5 for x and 100 for y. So we would have a 5 for x and a 100 for y. What would be the next one? It would be 6 for x and 120 for y. We'd have a 6 for x and a 120 for y. Because this makes a straight line, we can see what the next values would be for the data. The table and graph show the number of cats to the number of legs. If we have one cat, there's going to be four legs. If we have two cats, they're going to have eight legs, and so on. Is this a proportional relationship? Well, using the equation y is equal to kx, k would be four. That's our unit rate, isn't it? Four legs to one cat. Four is equal to four times one. Eight is equal to four times two. Eight is equal to four times two. Twelve is equal to four times three. So yes, it is. There is a constant of proportionality of four. And when graphed, the points make a straight line through the origin, zero, zero. So yes, this is a proportional relationship. This table shows a child's age in years and their height in inches. If we connect the points on this grid, they would not make a straight line, and the line would not go through the origin at zero, zero. This tells us that the data in the graph is not proportional. We see at one-year-old, the child is 26 inches, and at two years old, they're 30 inches, it went up by four. At three years old, they're 34 inches, that went up by four. But look what happens at four years old, it only went up by three. Then it went up by three again the next year and up by three. So it's not a constant rate of change. We went four inches, four inches, then three inches, three inches. That wasn't constant. It changed from four to three. So this is not proportional. The data in this table and on this graph does not have a proportional relationship. We can write the data from the table as ordered pairs, then graph the x and y values. Remember, we have x on the left and y on the right. We have a 0, 0 for our origin down here. We have a 1 for x, a 15 for y. 1 and 15, a 2 for x and a 30 for y, and a 3 for x and a 45 for y. When the plotted points are connected, they'll make a straight line through 0, 0, the origin. And this is proportional using y is equal to kx. k, the constant of proportionality, is 15. If we have 0 and we multiply it by 15, it will equal 0. And if we have a 1 and we multiply it by 15, it will be 15. If we have 2 and multiply it by 15, we'll have 30. And if we have 3 and multiply it by 15, we'll have 45. So the rate of change is constant. It's always 15, so this is proportional. Just remember, when you're writing your ordered pairs, we have x, then y, in alphabetical order as x, y, z. x is always first. It's on the left. We're finished with 4.3a. We're moving on to the second lesson in 4.3. We're going to be identifying proportional relationships. And we did that a little bit in this one. I'm going to really make sure you understand how to identify them in the next video. Remember, as you're plotting the points for your x and y values, 
the x value is the horizontal and the y value is the vertical. Have a wonderful day and join me for the next part of the lesson. Bye.